right, what's up guys? Today is Wednesday, today is arm day. Uh, we are two days away, so by the time this video goes up, probably be Friday or Saturday, this is gonna be live on ecmuscle.com. The pre-HD black, this is our high stim, pre-workout, very high dose of glycerol, beta alanine, NO3T. It's a great pump, great energy. That's gonna be live, it tastes awesome. That one there is, uh, is the sour, yeah, the sour grape. It's my favorite flavor. And then we also have the oversized tea. I took the sleeves off because today's arm day. This is gonna be the oversized new black tea on hdmuscle.com. And then also, you guys have seen, I've been working on my HVYD clothing brand. This is gonna be live on Friday as well. Uh, I'm super excited about that. We got crew necks, we got long sleeves, we got pants, we got shorts, whole bunch of cool stuff. So make sure to follow along for that. Um, so 20 minutes for the workout. I'm gonna have two scoops of the pre-HD, always making sure shaking our pre-workout before we use it. And we got a full shaker cup of water because ingredients like glycerol, they need water to work. If you're using it without water, you're just wasting your money. So no dry scooping. So for today's workout, uh, last leg workout, I kind of like uh, titled it Simple Stupid Tips. So we're gonna do the same thing today. I'm gonna try and keep things simple for you guys and just give you like basic tips that you guys can apply to your workout to try and maybe break some bad habits and get more out of your arm training. All right, so we're starting with a push down. You can see um, Val has taken a step back. So the tricep is gonna be loaded more in the fully contracted position. So she's not coming all the way up because as she comes up about right there is a tension and then down and then she's not actually pushing down. There is a little bit of down, but if you look at the cable, it's a lot of back. She's going this way, which is gonna overload the tricep from here to all the way here. So you're just manipulating sort of angles to put more tension on different areas of the tricep. If she were to take a step all the way in and it's traveling down, it's gonna hit a lot more upper tricep, which we'll see. She's coming over here now. And now you can see she's right up and over the cable. It's a lot, it's straight, right? A lot of up and down. So as she goes up, it's gonna be fully stretching that tricep, loading it in the fully lengthened, stretched position. It dies off towards the end, because she's not going back, she's just going down. I really like using this angle here because I like it when it, the tricep blows off the rear delts. Gives it a really nice, you know, bubbly look. This one here, if you really wanna feel that tricep really stretch and lengthen. You can almost flex your biceps on the top on the way up as your arms are firmly against your sides and that will fully lengthen that tricep and just push straight through. Something to think about like what I was saying there when you flex um, the bicep or fully lengthen the tricep. So that goes for a lot of muscle groups. So whenever you flex the opposing muscle group, like if I were to flex my quad, if I was on a, a hamstring curl and I were to flex my quad, I'm actually fully lengthening the hamstring. So, same with, same with uh, the any, anything here, right? So, if I'm going to flex my triceps as I come down, my bicep is going to be fully lengthened. But when you do that, you want to do it with a ton of control. Because it can also be very dangerous if you're not used to going in those ranges. A lot of people in the hamstring curls, they stop just shy of fully lengthening. So, all of a sudden, if you decide, oh, I'm going to go for full range now and flex my quads and you're not strong in that range, you can hurt yourself. So you have to do it under extreme control. So we're going up and pulling our wrist to our shoulder. And keep that, that hand straight too. Don't, don't, don't do this. Keep it straight. Good. Come on. Good. More, more. Up, this is it, and hold it when you get there, okay? Hold, hold, resist. Good, good, harder, 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 harder. Good job. If you guys, if you guys ever do that with your training partner where they're holding the contraction and you're pushing on it like that, just make sure that it's only when you're in the fully contracted position. And as your training partner comes down, don't keep on putting pressure on it until it's fully lengthened because the bicep gets weaker and that's when you can, you can hurt yourself, you can tear a muscle. For this one here, I like to keep the elbows pointing in so they're almost pointing in front of you. So she's really focusing on the long head. It's stretching, as she comes up, it's contracting all the way. 
pushing through your palms. Not everyone has the shoulder mobility for this one though. Good. And it's dropping behind you, but it's not just dropping down. It's almost like a semicircle. So when her arm is up here, it's like it's dropping semicircle behind her, not just straight down, if that makes sense. So some quick tips here for when you guys are doing bicep curls. If you see in my other videos, you've seen me talk about this before. But when you're in there, make sure your upper arm, wherever you choose to, to start, my upper arm is here. My upper arm is not moving. It's not going back. It's not going forward. I'm kind of in here. I sometimes I like to pretend I'm in like uh, those arm blasters, you know, those things with the pads here, where you set your arm in it. So, and then when you're here, you want to make sure that the distance from your wrist to your elbow joint is at a good placement so there's not the tension on the bicep. So when I come up, if I'm here and the bicep is fully contracted, you see my wrist is from the joint is pulling away from my body. A lot of people when they curse, so there's lots of tension on my bicep. My bicep has to work to, to keep it here and control it and flex. Where a lot of people like to stack the wrist on the elbow joint and come up like this, where the upper arm is moving. And now there's really no tension on the bicep itself. I'm just kind of resting. I could sit here all day holding a 30 pound dumbbell, where if I was here, I can't. Eventually, my bicep has to work to hold the weight there. So this would be a little bit of a more advanced technique that I like to use on this if your shoulders have the mobility, which is weird because I don't have great shoulder mobility, but for some reason I can get into this. Um, so when I throw it up, I get a really great stretch in my tricep belly this way. So I'll throw it up and push all the way to the ceiling. So it's almost like I get my shoulder out of the way. I'm almost like pushing up. I set here, I set my arm so the angle is actually that way a bit. So there's tension on the tricep and then I keep it here and I get a deep stretch in the tricep head, long head, and I stay here. So you can see it's angled. Yeah, and it's angled that way, right? And it's tons of tension. That way all the way to the top, when I contract, there's still tons of tension here. So some key things Val's uh, focusing on here is keeping her tricep firmly on this pad. There's a pad there for a reason, <clears throat> digging her arm into it. And as she does the movement, she is bringing her wrist to her shoulder yet again. So that's something to focus on, keeping that wrist straight. She's very straight, she's not curling the wrist. She's lengthening bicep, stretching, pulling back, good. So Val's doing the hammer strength, uh, what do you call that one? Whatever it is, upper curl. I'm gonna do the gym look I really like this uh, preacher curl, it's unilateral. Um, just like the max pump we did, it's on a Kevlar belt, it's really smooth. And the tension's really good throughout. And just like the max pump, there's a ton of tension in the fully lengthened, the stretch position too, which I really like. You guys have probably seen, even when I do dumbbells, I spend a lot of time in that, in those ranges. So I really like the way this one feels. Um, sometimes I do them on its own, on their own. Sometimes I do them together. Today I'm gonna go together. So I let it really pull on the bicep, fully lengthen, but under tension still. There's, lot, there's tension on my bicep. I'm grabbing it with the bicep. Triceps are firmly pushing against the pad. And I'm pulling that wrist to my shoulder. All right, so we're finishing off here with 
single arm cable push downs with hammer curls. So on this exercise here, we're kind of uh, choosing a position where the cable is kind of like pushing down but a little bit back. You see she's taking one step back from the cable. Um, I like to end off with this one. It's just really good to fucking polish off the triceps, really work on isolating it through the full range. Um, and then from here we're moving on to hammer curls where when we're doing the hammer curl we're actually focusing on our radial deviation in the wrist instead of being neutral here we're actually keeping it upwards like this during the whole range so we're not here we're pushing up which is just going to cause the forearm into the brachialis and the bicep just to overload that a little bit more choosing a position where this cable we're still going to be getting a lot of stretch in that upper tricep right but then we're taking a step back so the direction is we're still getting good pull on the upper but it's still going to be good tension on the bottom as well so about right here and we're going to push right through we're going to aim for 10 reps And you'll notice too, again, just like when we did the dumbbell curl, right? When that dumbbell comes up, the distance away from the joint. So there's lots, lots of tension or pull on that bicep. Where if we did this whole thing, we're losing it. All right, guys, that is the arm workout today. It has been four weeks since the competition. Um, my body weight, I'm only up about nine, 10 pounds. I'm trying to keep things, uh, you know, a little more controlled this year, stay in shape. Just feel better and more energy not feel like a fat mess post show which is so easy to do for people just going off the handle uh, but i gotta continue documenting as much as possible for you guys there's so many things exciting going on here uh, pure muscle fitness hd muscle my new clothing line um, we got val doing the olympia we got antoine doing the olympia so many hd muscle athletes doing the olympia we got emerson competing in two weeks so I'm gonna continue to keep this channel going. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I appreciate all your guys' support. And remember guys, Friday, new products, pre HD Black, got the new HD Muscle um, clothing. I got my clothing brand, the HV, HVYD. I got, oh my gosh, what else? There's so many things. We got the new, new equipment brand, Core Strength. So there's so many things I'm gonna be sharing with you guys and I'll bring you guys sort of inside my life and show you guys what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis. I know I've just been showing you guys a lot of training, so this is just a small portion of my life. So I'm happy to share with you guys. Appreciate your support. Comment down below. Let me know what I can do better, what you guys want to see. Appreciate everything. P.S. Guys, my clothing brand, it is going to be available on hdmuscle.com. So you can get it with all your favorite products. But we are also going to have www.hvy-d.com. Um, if you guys go on there, you join the mailing list, we're going to be um, offering all the members a part of the website, um, 20, a 24 hour early access, there's going to be exclusive deals, so make sure you guys sign up. And also with my community on there, I want to know what you guys want to see more of, I want to know your feedback. How do you like the cuts? Do you want them bigger? Do you want them longer? Do you want them baggier? All that sort of stuff like that. I want to bring you guys along and maybe on my next video I'm going to show you guys a little bit of an inside scoop on uh, what I have coming with the brand as well. All right, guys, till next time.